Florida is the world's third largest citrus grower behind Brazil and China, and we are the number one producer in the United States. But for the past decade, Florida's citrus industry has been dwindling. The citrus industry always seems to be under attack. From pests and diseases such as tristasia and canker, and even weather have tried to destroy the industry, and yet it prevails. But this latest disease has caused more damage to the citrus industry around the world than any of the others. Its name is HLB greening. Greening is created and transmitted from an Asian citrus psyllid. The two main forms are heat tolerant and heat sensitive, though three different types have been found. The Chinese first discovered and wrote about this disease in 1929. The next reports of it came in 1947 in South Africa, but it didn't become a concern to Americans until 2005, when it started to rapidly spread. Within a few years, almost the entire state was infected. Sixteen years later, we still don't have an answer for the cure. The first real sighting of the psyllid was in 1997, and the state was picking more than 200 million boxes of fruit each year. By the time greening started to really affect the state, Florida was producing 150 million boxes in 2005, and today we are picking less than 45 million boxes statewide. Here's how the disease works. The Asian psyllid flies through the grove, landing on the leaves, and starts to feed on the leaves and stems. The psyllid transfers bacteria to the tree. Once infected, the tree starts to die. The leaf's veins will turn yellow and their edges will wilt. The disease attacks the nutrition and circulation system. The first signs are the leaves, but as the years go on, the tree began to produce smaller and fewer fruit. It also causes the fruit to fall off the tree too early, so even if the fruit was going to be a pickable fruit, it falls to the ground and dies. So not only does the farmer have a 50-50 chance of having a good fruit, but also a 50-50 chance that the fruit will fall off the tree. So what is being done to stop this? Millions of acres of citrus have been lost to greening. Thousands of jobs have been lost. Billions of state income has been lost. Millions of dollars have been spent by both government and private citizens and companies on research for the cure, but to this date, we have not found one. The farmers have resorted to creating their own concoctions of chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides. More time, energy, and money have been devoted to each individual tree if a grower wants a good harvest. The expenses have doubled just to keep the tree alive. Twenty years ago, grove management costs would have been $800 per acre, roughly. But today, the same grove might cost $2,800 to $3,000 an acre to manage. Those costs go up even higher if you want to keep the trees safe under shade cloth. The success rate of keeping greening out of a grove planted under shade cloth is astonishing. Shade cloth is a thin screen that covers the entire grove letting sunlight in but keeping safe from greening. Growers under shade cloth often plant very high density dwarfed trees with thin rows between them so that they can have very high yields with low maintenance. But this way of growing is not cost effective for large scale growers as it could cost up to $90,000 an acre to put up shade cloth and get the grove growing. Most growers prefer the conventional route of adding more pesticides and nutrients to the tree but this does not save the tree. It only slows the tree's death. The University of Florida has developed several new rootstocks that are proven to be greening tolerant but not resistant, meaning the roots of the tree provide a base that have better protection against the psyllids, but are still affected by the disease. This has been done by genetically modifying the tree's DNA with certain genes from spinach and mustard plants, which does not affect the taste of the fruit. Some growers have used reflective metallic-like mulch, which when the sun reflects off of it, blinds the psyllids, making it harder for them to find the tree. We are still years away from a solution or a cure, so what does this mean for the industry? Growers are spending more money to produce fewer and fewer crops. The state's overall production levels continue to dwindle to all-time record lows. Every day, trees are dying, and many are wondering if the industry will ever make a full comeback from this disease. That is why the price of orange juice has increased and will continue to increase as the world is plagued with a seemingly incurable disease.